These are stupid, silly little things that block your abundance, but they are so easy to fix. Hello friends, this is Andrea Shulman again, and I'm back with a very raspy voice because I had a crazy weekend. But in today's video, we are gonna talk about five foolish ways that you can block your abundance that are super easy to fix. Now, if you're excited to watch today's video, please give it a thumbs up right now, and let's go ahead and jump on in. Oh, and as a quick note, I am going to be doing kind of a gift to my audience later in the video. So if you would like to get a free gift, totally free, no obligation, none of that nonsense, just a free gift from me, make sure to watch through to the end. Now, as we get into this topic of five foolish things that you can do to block your abundance, please do know that the reason I know these things exist is because I myself have botched every single one of them and I've had to turn them all around. So I'd be very curious, are there any of these things that you are currently doing or are there any of these things that you yourself have learned to change so that you can attract more abundance? And please do feel free to share your thoughts on that question below in the comments because again, I'd be very interested to hear. All right, so the first silly, stupid little thing that you can do to block your abundance that so many people do is talk trash about money. Talk trash about money. How often do you hear somebody talking trash about money? Like, you know, only greedy people like money or money makes you greedy or there's more to life than money or money is the root of all evil. You hear people talking negatively about money and the subject of money, talking down about it, looking down on it on a regular basis, at least I know I certainly do. Now, talking trash about money is a really great way to block your abundance and it's so silly and it's so easy to correct. So let's think about it this way. If you had a friend that you talked negatively about and you said that that friend was the root of all evil and people should stay away from it and there's better things than that person, would you expect that that friend would come closer to you or that you would repel that friend? Well, when we talk trash about money, we repel it just like we would repel a person that we talk negatively about. So make money your friend, speak positively about it. And if you have nothing nice to say, like your mom always told you, or your dad, or your caregiver, whomever it was, don't say anything at all. Now the second silly little thing that you can do to block your abundance, and this is one that I've done before, and I see lots of people doing it, and I don't think most people are aware of this, but it's not validating how the money comes, or more specifically, invalidating how it's coming. So for instance, a lot of people will complain or get upset or get concerned if money comes this way rather than that way. So for instance, it's not manifesting if it came through my job or, you know, I got it as a gift so it didn't really count as a manifestation or I wanted to get it through my job but instead I got it through my spouse so that's not a manifestation. Be careful about how you're validating how money is coming to you. You want to be accepting it in all forms. So it doesn't matter if you found it on the floor, if it came as a rebate check, as if it came through your job, or if it came through another person, or if you found it in your sock drawer, however it comes, validate that that was a manifestation and that you manifested it. Do not block all these infinite avenues of abundance by saying that didn't count, that didn't count, or that didn't count. Oh, and if that's news to you, you may also really like another video that I recently created on how to manifest money without a job because some people have hangups about jobs and money coming through jobs. And I'll make sure to go ahead and link that up below if you'd like to watch it next. All right, now the third silly, foolish little way that you can block your abundance is by hoarding and hiding your money. So I have a person that I know on a personal level who shall remain nameless for the sake of her anonymity. <laughs> but she's a perfect example of this, okay? So she's very, very keen to always make sure all of her doors are locked, all of her possessions are put away, her purse is hidden, very concerned about people taking her money, people stealing from her. 
Here's something really important to understand about hoarding, hiding, and protecting your possessions and your money is that it actually makes you more susceptible to thieves, to stealing, and to unexpected costs and expenses. See, if you're constantly hoarding your money and hiding it and trying to protect it, the message that you're putting out into the universe is that this is going to be taken from me. And so what ends up happening is that you end up having it taken from you. People steal from you. They break, may break into your house. They may lift money out of your wallet. You know, there's certain things that break down and costs that come into play. And so while this one doesn't necessarily affect money coming to you, it can absolutely block your ability to accumulate money. So do yourself a favor and try Try to loosen your grip on your possessions. Don't be so worried if things get taken. If I ever have a moment where I'm concerned that, oh, I left this sitting out, maybe someone will take it, and I can feel the need to want to protect and hoard and hide, here's kind of my pro tip that I use that actually amplifies my abundance in that moment. And it's to remind myself, oh, well, if it gets stolen, I'll just get another one. I can always just get another one. I can afford another one. This will remind you that you do indeed have a lot more abundance than you realize and that you do not need to cling on to your possessions and that will help you amplify your abundance. Hey, if you've been enjoying today's video, please make sure to subscribe, like, comment, share, you know, give me some love. It definitely does help me out here on YouTube. And as always, I sincerely do appreciate it. All right, now the fourth foolish way that you can block your abundance is by underestimating rather than overestimating. This is something that I noticed within myself and when I compared myself against people who were more abundant than me, I saw that I was doing this on a regular basis. So for instance, let's say that I was going to get a job, going to get a new job. If I'm underestimating, I might think about what's the least amount of money I might get. Well, maybe they'll offer me 30,000 or maybe they'll offer me 24,000, but somebody who's truly abundant will overestimate. Maybe they'll offer me 100,000. Maybe they'll offer me 120,000. I noticed this a lot in sales because I've done commission work. And when I used to work in like a sales commission job, I would sit there and think about what's the least amount that I need in order to hit my quota. What's the least amount of sales or what's the bare minimum I might be able to get this person to buy. And when I would look at very successful people in commission, they would think much bigger. Well, maybe he'll buy more. Maybe there'll be an even bigger amount than I thought. Resist the temptation to boil it down to what's the least amount I think I'm going to get and instead allow yourself to think bigger. Maybe I could get a whole lot more than I'm actually anticipating. I'm telling you, I've seen this time and time again. People who are very, very abundant, they always seem to over project how much they're going to get. They shoot literally for the moon. And so they may not get, you know, exactly what it was that they projected, but they get a lot more than somebody who under projects. So train yourself to just at least imagine that maybe you're going to get more than you think. Oh, and we've got one more item on this list, but before I share it with you, this is the season of gift giving right now. As I'm filming this, we are in the middle of the holiday season of 2021. And so I wanted to do kind of a gift special. So the first thing is that I'm going to be giving away to anybody who wants it, a $25 coupon code for my website, which will entitle you to at least one free audio download. And so if you would like to get some audio programming from me for free. You can absolutely do that. The code is love, L-O-V-E. I will put the link below in the description and you can use that coupon code again to get a free audio download or you can apply it to anything on my site that you would like to use it for. It will apply to your entire order. So that is my gift to you. Again, you can go ahead and make sure to check that out below in the description. And also I have another giveaway. I am doing a $250 giveaway prize to one lucky commenter on today's video. So before I get into the final tip here on our list of foolish ways that you can block your abundance, my lovely assistant Mary is going to share with you the rules of this contest. Hey Andrea and friends, the giveaway starts today, December 11th, and will end December 15th when I select the winner from the comments with a random comment 
picker. We will announce the winner in the video of December 18th. To enter, just comment below on this video and let us know why you're in alignment with $250. Please follow the link in the description so you can read all the rules to make sure you qualify. This giveaway is not sponsored by YouTube and is fully sponsored by Andrea Schulman. We wish you all the best of luck. All right, so make sure to get your free gift and also make sure to comment so that you are eligible to win $250 from yours truly. All right, now we've got one more item here on our list of foolish things that you can do to block your abundance. And this is a very simple little thing. It's so innocuous and little, but it is memorizing the value of small things. You're gonna get what you focus on. And so you really wanna spend time, if you're gonna think about the prices of things, you wanna think about the prices of big things rather than small things. A lot of people out there are focused on things like how much is the price of a tank of gas? How much is the how much is a gallon of milk? How do I save $2 a month on my utilities bill? Here's the deal. If it's something that you're gonna buy regardless of the price, just buy it. Do not sit there and nitpick tiny amounts of money because what you're doing when you nitpick tiny amounts of money is you're telling the universe, this amount of money is a big deal to me. $2 is a big deal to me. And somebody who's very, very abundant and bringing in lots and lots of money isn't gonna care too much about $2. So stop paying attention to the price of gas. Stop paying attention to the price of a ga gallon of milk. If you're gonna memorize the value of something, memorize the value of something big, like real estate or private jets or Fortune 500 companies, okay? Focus on big amounts, not small. Oh, and again, do remember to get your free audio download from yours truly. Again, the coupon code is LOVE. I will put a link below in the description. You can use that coupon code to either get a free audio download or you can apply it to anything on my site. That coupon code will extend to your entire order. And then also, again, please do make sure to comment because one lucky commenter is gonna receive $250 as a holiday gift from me. And finally, if you are new to my work here, I would love to invite you to take my law of attraction test. If you would like to see how your thoughts create your reality, I have designed a very quick five minute test to show you just how to do that, where you can put something out and watch it come back. And to take that test now, please again, go ahead and look below in the description for a link. Thanks so much for watching today's video on five foolish ways you can block your abundance and for putting up with my raspy voice today. <laughs> I appreciate you, I love you, and of course, I look forward to bringing you another video soon. Bye-bye.